Any plans for Friday night? You can party. I know how to throw one hell of a party. We got a party now. I'm ready to party. Okay, party people. Start the party. Let's party. Well, they got to get all dolled up for a party. Party, party, party. 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 Enjoy your last look at my ass because I'm going to party it off. Everybody knows it's party time. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. In yet another way, we are consuming media, maybe radically changing. A couple of tech guys are pitching Hollywood on the idea of letting people rent movies at home the same day they're released to theaters. The cost would be $50. The service called Screening Room would charge about $150 for access to the set-top box that transmits the movies. Screening Room would also offer customers who pay the $50 two free tickets to see the movie at a theater of their choice. After nine years, the brewer of Dos Equis beer has decided that maybe the world's reigning most interesting man isn't so interesting anymore. As a result, the tan, suave, impressively bearded, most interesting man in the world is about to embark on his final journey over the next few months before fading away. Dos Equis, owned by Heineken, nearly tripled its business since the campaign was introduced. Though the specific character played in television ads by 77-year-old Jonathan Goldsmith won't be back, a Dos Equis spokesman said, another equally interesting and likely younger man will take his place. Dos Equis plans to revamp the popular commercials in order to keep their edge for a new generation of customers. And why wouldn't they? Hillary Clinton's new campaign slogan is, Hillary Clinton is just like you. Right. Her supporters are here to confirm that. I'm voting for Hillary Clinton because she's just like me. Hillary Clinton for president in 2016. I lived in a White House too, but it was foreclosed on. Hillary Clinton, the voice of the people. In America, I can make just as much as Hillary Clinton does for one speech. But it'll take me 10 years. Hillary Clinton. She can relate. I'm on a private jet every day. I'm actually the only person on the plane before the passengers board. Hillary Clinton. In touch with the American dream. Hillary Clinton goes to Chipotle just like me. It's actually my third job just so I can feed my kids and not get evicted. Hillary Clinton. She's just like us. Kinda. Uh, okay, not really. A show called The Internet Ruined My Life premiered last night. I felt sorry for those people, especially that incredibly hot blonde who had to wait in line at the bank for almost 15 minutes to deposit her $55 million check. Caitlyn Jenner says Hillary Clinton doesn't care about women. Uh Uh-oh, things could get nasty next time they cross paths at Pantsuit Warehouse. Chuck Norris turned 76 yesterday. He celebrated the same way he always does, by completely failing to realize he's only famous ironically. Kanye West visited IKEA's headquarters for inspiration, which in turn inspired Kim to send out a selfie of herself assembling her new IKEA bookcase in the nude. More bad news for Chipotle. A store in Massachusetts had to temporarily shut down after four of its employees became ill. The only thing scarier than eating at a Chipotle is eating at a Chipotle on a cruise ship. In France, a dentist is on trial for ripping out healthy teeth and leaving people in pain. Dentists versus lawyers. There's a tough call. A new survey has found that almost a third of people say they would wait two to six months before passing gas in front of your new partner. I don't know about you, but if I try to hold one that long, I'm going to need surgery. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Vegetarian Pamela Anderson is campaigning for New York prisons to become meat-free. That would definitely start a riot. But then on the other hand, the inmates would be too weak to do any serious harm. Hey, CJ, nobody gives a f***. Steven Tyler has revealed that he's dating a 28-year-old. He credits his pickup line, I'm rich and going to die soon. Hey, Tallarico, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network is proud to present 
Frank D'Angelo and his 15-piece band Spring Concert Tour. Friday, March 11th at the Rose Theater, Brampton. Saturday, March 26th at Spatz Theater, Halifax. Thursday, March 31st at Violet's Venue in Barrie. Friday, April 15th at Aeolian Concert Hall, London. Saturday, April 16th at Seneca Queen Theatre, Niagara Falls. Saturday, May 21st at Algonquin Theatre, Huntsville. And Friday, May 27th at the Capitol Theatre, Moncton. For tickets, go to frankdangelo.ca.